What's up, ZBrushers? Welcome back to Z Fever. My name is Ricky, and today I wanted to follow up from a video that I posted yesterday about how to generate some topology to be able to work with the uh, Z Modeler brush. Okay, so uh, yesterday, or I should say today at like 5 o'clock in the morning, I posted a video about uh, using some older techniques by uh, pinning a uh, Z sphere into the project and uh, drawing out topology, then making it an adaptive skin, bringing it back into your regular project, and then continuing to work with it. But after uh, thinking about it, I was like, you know, there's there's definitely a better way to go about this, uh, and <clears throat> there is a better way, which I used before. I just didn't put two and two together until you know I woke up today. So um, here is how I went about generating these pieces. Uh, you know, it's nothing to speak of, but it's topology that we can work with, right? So um, let's hop to it. So what we can do is rather than using the z-spheres and all that stuff, you know, we could uh, utilize the mesh and masking features that we already have available to us, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just masking off an area that I would like to pull some topology from. I'm actually going to go a little wider on this because I'm anticipating some drop-off. Let me solo this for a second. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an extraction. And since I want this piece to be sticking out a little further than the rest, let's hit it with that. Oh, let's just, you know what, let's run with it. We got a tumor. <laughs> okay, so, um... Once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and clear that mask. Hop over to this. Make sure I'm sentry. And now, you know, okay, great. Uh, you made a tumor on his back. How am I going to work with this? Especially with this topology. Well, that's why Z Remesher has been gifted to us from the gods of CG World. So, uh,. What we're going to do is we're just going to drop this down. I'm going to drop it all the way down to one. And I want, first of all, I'm not crazy about this crease right here. So I'm going to smooth this out. You know, just a little smooth. All right. Let's do the same thing down here. And let's hit it. Boom. Now I got some topology that I can work with. You know, it's not the greatest thing in the world, guys. But um, you know, I can keep working with this. I can hit it again with the Z remesher, which I might actually do once I even the surface out. But um, you know, now I have something that's manageable, right? And uh didn't cost me, you know, 10, 20 minutes to make. So now, all I got to do is work with the tools that have been given to me. And I can, you know, come through and start deleting edges. You know, I don't need all this stuff. Just enough information to uh, capture, you know, the silhouette, right? You know, all those same principles that we've been using for mesh generation, you know, we can apply here. And so, clean her up. And then you can come back through and get rid of that one. Clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now I can come through and I can say, okay, well, now I would like to start using Z 
using Mobler to start uh, creating some topology to work with and make this guy look look like a real space dude, right? So and then you just pull from all the same information that you've been, you know, you've been going crazy about, right? And uh, make some cool stuff. So, um, you know, this is not some crazy method. Uh, it's just uh, I actually learned to use this from uh, watching Danny Williams work. Uh, so, uh, Danny, if you ever happen to see this, you know, thanks for uh, looking out for the community and sharing your ideas, man. Uh, it's been really helpful to me, and uh, you're an inspiration, dude. Um, so, um, if you guys have any ideas, if you have any suggestions, any things that you would like to uh, be covered here, uh, definitely give me a shout. I'll be more than happy to, uh, to uh, you know, make a video or uh, talk to you about uh, you know how to work a certain method um, like I said in the previous video I'm currently in the middle of a certification course so once I have a better curriculum going I will be starting uh, a series so uh, you know give me give me your ideas tell me what you want to know um, and you know we'll come up with something we'll, we'll make it fun okay all right so uh, I want to thank you for watching uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day. Happy ZBrushing.